Hey everyone, this is Frank from Apple One to One. And today I'm going to show you how you can use the eraser tool in photos. So you notice I have here a photo that I really thought was a pretty nice photo, except for that blue balloon behind my head. <laughs> so um, first thing you do, obviously bring up your photo, hit your edit down on the bottom row. <clears throat> You'll see here that you have... You can adjust, you can filters, crop, cleanup. We're going to do the cleanup. So if you hit cleanup and then enlarge your photo, once you have it where you want it, then you take your finger or if you're on an iPad Pro and you have your pencil, you can use your pencil and start erasing that blue balloon. There you go. Now, if I resize it, if I say done, now if I bring it up, you can see on the top of my head there a little blur, but overall, that looks pretty good. And that's just how easy it is to use the eraser tool. The only issue that I see is how to make a nice clean line with your finger. So with with that in mind, if you have an iPad Pro and you have a pencil, I would imagine it would be a lot easier. So now we're going to let the application analyze a photo and show you how you can take multiple areas and just tap them and they will be removed. So first thing you're going to do is hit your edit, then tap your cleanup and it'll analyze the photo. Now you notice you have in this photo, we have multiple areas that are Highlighted. So that person in the back with the yellow shirt on the right hand side, if I just tap that, it takes that out of there. The person next to them, clean up any mess like, there you go. And then the cloth underneath the bench, tap it, the Coke, and anything else that you think may warrant it. You just tap on that area if it's still glowing and it'll take them out and clean it up to your liking and and then you're good to go. Hi everyone, since Frank took care of the iOS 18 side of cleanup, I figured I'd show you the Mac side of cleanup. So I am on macOS Sequoia, so you make sure you are running the latest version of that and Apple Intelligence has been turned on. So I'm taking a photo right now and there's a lollipop here in this photo that I really just don't want. So I'm going to go to cleanup. It has to download cleanup into your machine. So just make sure that you're aware that the first time that you're using this, that you have to make sure it's set up. Move across on the bottom, it tells you to click, brush, or circle what you want remove so I want to circle out this lollipop and let it do its thing all right and it's gone and that was pretty good I mean I, I obviously it's not the greatest thing in the world but hey you know what it does job let's go find another photo all right so I'm gonna give this one a try and I know it's gonna be really hard to do but this poll that's right here I want to get rid of that so I'm gonna go to the edit tool I'm gonna go to clean up and now we're going to really try something. Now, if you notice, it's it's lighting up certain edges of the screen here because it thinks it's those are the items that should be removed, which obviously it's not. So I'm going to go and just draw over this item. And boy, I, I'll be impressed if it really does a good job here. I'm just going to take my time, circle that item, and let's see if it gets rid of it in a good manner. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Um, that is a really good, I, I, uh, that's a good test. Wow, that's a really good test to do that. Uh, you can also see the original. If I go to edit, um, you can revert, you can obviously revert to the original, but you can see the difference if I show you the back and forth between them. That did a tremendous job of filling that up. Let's find another that we really just don't need and let's go to edit. Let's go to clean up. And you see it's highlighting a whole bunch of things, but the, definitely the car, like this, I definitely don't want. So I'm gonna click on it and see it gets rid of it. So that's another thing you could do is that if you see items here automatically, you could just click it and it'll just remove it from the machine. 
Um, and there they go. All the cars are gone. Now, that was a terrible example, by the way, but you could see now that it's gone and it may not be that noticeable. Uh, fortunately, I came to count my clothes, which is really sad. So we're going to do edit, clean up, and I'm hoping it grabs the person. Ah, oh, it did. It knew exactly what I wanted to do. Click right on it. And that person is gone. Really great feature. Wow. I am so impressed with this cleanup. There are some certain situations that really make this look great. So go through the cleanup and I hope that this was a great tutorial from the iOS side and from the Mac side. That would really be helpful for you. Thank you very much guys. And I love every single one of you.